Are you considering taking a calcium supplement? Have you wondered which one you should take? In this video, we're gonna talk about how to figure out what calcium supplement is the right one for you to take. I'm Sarah, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so glad that you are here to join me on a journey to better bone health. And let's get into it. So taking supplements is a really personal decision and there isn't one right supplement for every person, but there are some general guidelines to consider. So let's go over those. First, calcium su supplements can interact with lots of different medications. These include antibiotics, blood pressure medications, and bisphosphonates. So the bisphosphonates make up quite a few of the medications for bone loss. So double check your medications, and if you're taking any of these medications, then figure out with your doctor or pharmacist if you are allowed to take a calcium supplement, and then if you have the okay to take a calcium supplement, you may have to time when you take it. So this means that you might have to take your calcium supplement several hours away from when you take other medications. So clear this with your doctor or pharmacist. And then calcium supplements can also affect how our bodies absorb magnesium, zinc, and iron. The Mayo Clinic suggests that it might be helpful to take calcium separately from your main multivitamin. It's just something to keep in mind when you're choosing a supplement. I was recently asked about a popular calcium supplement that has other bone supporting nutrients in it. This supplement has a large amount of vitamin D in it, larger than the daily recommended dose. So we have to have vitamin D to properly absorb calcium. Most people are short, they're not getting enough vitamin D. And if a person is low on vitamin D, then a doctor might recommend that they take more than the daily recommended amount for a while to help build their vitamin D level up in their body. This is something that should be monitored and done with a doctor. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, 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 which means that our bodies store excess rather than getting rid of it in our waste. If a person has enough vitamin D, then taking a calcium supplement with more than the daily recommended amount is not a good thing. So keep this in mind when choosing a supplement. It may be that you're low on vitamin D currently, and so taking more than the recommended amount is a good thing for a while, but then later on down the line, you need to make an adjustment. It's just something to watch and to pay careful attention to. Get your vitamin D checked every year with your doctor. So calcium is best absorbed when it has pot pot potassium phosphate citrate, say that three times fast. We need to have an acidic stomach for the calcium to be absorbed well, and the addition of potassium phosphate citrate helps this process. When you see a supplement with vitamin C, that's a good thing. Our bones are mostly made of calcium phosphate, so having potassium and phosphate in the calcium supplement gives our bodies necessary micronutrients. There's also some discussion in nutrition circles about whether calcium should be algae-based or not, because algae can potentially have high levels of heavy metals. I'm not suggesting here that you should not take an algae-based supplement. Some of them look really good to me based on a variety of other conditions. I present it so that you're aware of it as a potential issue. I think having the information and being able to make informed decisions is important when making decisions for our health. So I hope that you found this information helpful. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. Feel free to ask any follow-up questions and I'll talk soon.